So people, we arrived at the software. Of course, here you see the website, Endgame Gear, 8K configuration tool. So you download it, accept it and download it. It's not an installer, so it's auto, yeah, auto log on and then you can adjust it, apply and then keep it on your desktop or remove it from your computer or anything. And of course you can update your firmware over here. Now I already opened the end game gear. Now let's see factory reset. Here at the top you see the firmware or version 1.09, software version you see version 1.03. If there's any updates on the website, you can of course upgrade it to newer versions. Here you see the basic settings. Now, as I told you at the beginning, it has one mm uh, lift off distance, and in the software you can adjust it to is two mm. I personally like high lift off distance. I know I am weird, but I personally like it because when I lifting up my mouse, I can still control it while lifting. <laughs> yeah, I always do that from uh, years ago. I lift my mouse with low sensitivity in shooter, and while I'm lifting it, I mostly also control it control it in the air and higher lift of distance you can do it i know i can do it but uh, i did it also with older razor imperator mice now yeah you can do multiple cpi levels if you want to adjust them probably with this button underneath you can adjust it uh, with those profiles i want just want to have one but you can have four as i see you can do x and i enable then you can swap them of course if you have want to have an X and I difference, but I keep them the same. You have ripple control, angle snapping, angle snapping if you want to have a straight line. And I must say, I tested that in Valorant, angel, uh, angel, <laughs> it's not angel snapping, angle snapping. I tested it in Valorant practice uh, arena or how it's called. And I actually uh, aimed more straight lines and I keep my crosshair more straight instead of up, down, up, down, a little bit better, and I achieved a better score. Test it yourself if you play Valorant, but keep that in mind, you can put it on or off. Most people like it off, but you can put it on if you prefer that. Now, DPI steps from 50 increments, from 50 to uh, 26,000 DPI, so in steps of 50 increments. Now, I keep it at 9, 950, and then you can apply your settings. And then you can go to advanced settings. Here you see motion sync. You can put it on or off. Your polling rate from, oh, I told you, you can also do below a thousand, but you can't. You can only choose, hmm? where's the 8K polling rate? So guys, I put off my cable in a different hub instead of uh, completely in the computer. And I don't know where my 8K hertz polling rate is. <laughs> my 8K hertz. Is it because of this feature? Motion sync? Oh, ah, okay. So if you have motion sync on, you can only have 4K, 2000 and 1000. If you put motion sync off, you also have 8K Hertz. So I tested it uh, not before 8K Hertz, but uh, I read on other people on Reddit, they say I can't feel 8K Hertz polling rate. And I of course have more 8K Hertz polling rate gaming mouse. But personally, I can't uh, feel 8K Hertz polling rate. But if you're like very sensitive or you're really an insane uh, pro gamer in the industry, you may feel it. Uh, I've personally high refresh rate monitors with 8K Hertz with different mouse. I didn't test it on this mouse, but on different mouse, I couldn't feel it. But maybe you're very sensitive or an incre uh, incredible pro gamer. You can choose 8K Hertz polling rate. Of course, it's always lower input delay, so that's always great, but I personally don't feel it. Uh, to get that, you put on motion sync off, and then you can choose it. Uh, I keep motion sync on, then you have 4K, 2000, and 1000. Then you have uh, left button multi-click filter. I don't even know what it is, guys. Uh, but you see this, you can do adjust this one, and SPDT, speed mode, save mode, GX. Oh, this is for your main buttons. Ah, okay. Speed mode or save mode. Nah. You can adjust and test it yourself if you purchase this mouse and button mapping. Uh, it has not customization buttons, so you cannot really button map. 
But for example, if you want to button map your side button, you have your options uh, to choose from. But uh, yeah, there are no customization buttons, so I keep them default because I want forward and backward on my side buttons. But if you want, for example, your middle mouse button click, change that, you can adjust that. So this is basically the software, guys.